what's up welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be showing you this cute little video I did with my daughter we did some beautiful little female slices with a gel overlay on her natural nails so here I am just sanitizing um, she had some really like overgrown cuticles so sad because her mom's a nail tech like really but I'm using my ethyl um, cuticle pusher from Navy Pro Tools. Uh, this cuticle pusher is pretty pricey, I will say that. Um, and it's, pricing is in pounds, of course, so their pound is worth more than our dollar, because I'm in America. Um, but it's a great tool, I love it. It has like a little lip, an edge, that really gets in there and scrapes. But if somebody can find me another cuticle pusher that is similar to this one please let me know in the comment section below because like i said this one is pricey and i would love to have more than just this one um which would pose a not an issue but if you only have one tool that does such a great job and you're taking clients by appointment remember you have to sanitize properly in between clients and such so you kind of want to have more than one of the great tools you love using so if someone could find me another cuticle pusher that's just as bomb um let me know so yeah i'm going in with my skiver bit cleaning up my cuticles i got that bit from atwood industries i got that a while ago and you just have to hold it very perpendicular to the person's like cuticle and their nail bed and really get in there um you don't need to apply much pressure i suggest you don't because this bit is no joke um and don't have i wouldn't have your um drill on at like top notch speed like i don't think you should ever have it that high that's when damage can occur. You don't want to damage anyone's nails and nail beds and cuticles. Um, yeah, you don't. This is another bit. I don't. It's like a little barrel bit. I don't know the exact size for it. I love this bit. I'm starting to really love it because it really gets in and further cleans up that cuticle area. And while it's uh, cleaning up, you know, all the dead skin that the skiver bit left behind, it's still pushing back the cuticles even more, as you can see in that when me doing that finger. It's just really pushing it back. So I love it. Um, and then I'm going in with my uh, nippers. Um, guys, I'm not this rough for real. I, <laughs> It's a sped up shot, okay? Uh, and then I'm doing the little ball bit. You can get all these bits, I think, in like a Russian manicurist drill bit set. You can find, if you Google something like that or search that on Amazon, you'll find these bits, guys. Um, and I use the round bit to get the dead skin off that the nippers didn't get and I didn't want to pull a rip or anything like that you know you don't want to do that um, and then I'm going in with my sanding band and I'm getting the shine off of her natural nails so yeah keep watching guys this one was a fun one this was a gel overlay like I told you guys I'm getting into the gel um, so all my gel girls this is for you um, the products I used was, of course, the female slices that you saw, which can be very difficult when you're doing a natural nail because some of the female slices, if you get them pre-sliced, because I do see the ones with they're like this whole stick and you can slice them yourself, which I'm lazy and I don't want to do that. But then I come across this problem where you order the female slices like already sliced, <laughs> but certain ones may be a little too thick. So you had to, we had a lot of that going on. We didn't want her gel overlay to be like a big bubble nail. That's not the look uh, she was going for um, at all. Um, I've seen people with bubble nails though. So, you know, power to you, I can't do it. But that's not the look my 13 year old was going for very simple gel overlay is what you wanted so if you're gonna encapsulate a gel overlay or natural nails you do have to be mindful of what it is you're trying to encapsulate that it, it does and can lay flat and the nail won't be bumpy um, so yes guys be mindful so some of the female slices gave us a headache but it came out pretty so I'm going after I filed and shaped I'm using my nail prep dehydrator from me a secret I got that from Amazon and that just further dehydrates the nail so that there is no oils or anything like that. And then, of course, I'm using my Young Nails Protein Bond, which I love, 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 love. Um, and I'm going in with that on her nails. 
Okay, kitty, so now I'm going in with my Light Elegance Jimmy Gel. This is my favorite right now. I'm really loving it. It's a soak off gel. So you can apply it, you can build with it. Um, it's, I'm applying it as a base. Um, and it's a good, thick, nice base. Like it's, I love this gel and it's a soak off gel. And I did see Selena Ryden use it as um, her building out a nail, um, creating a nail using a form with it and doing a fill in with it. So it's a really good all in one bottle kind of product, which I love. These are the kind of products guys that when you, especially if you're starting out, these all in one kind of things, this is what you should go for. It is a little bit on the pricey side. It's like 20 bucks, 24, I think, and some change. But like I said, it's kind of like those all in one type of things, you know? Um, so like I said, there are certain things you can splurge on or you should you should splurge on. And there's certain things you're like, mm, you don't have to spend that much, you know? These are one of those things that I would suggest you do buy. Um, and yeah, I am going in. Now that other gel is Yayogi. It's the Builder Gel. You guys seen it before in my other gel video. I used that to encapsulate the beautiful like marble-ish design I made on Tiffany. So I'm kind of using that, it's, I'm putting that down as like a sticky adhering layer and I'm filling my brush with it and I'm picking up some glitters, some um, glitter, chunky glitter hearts, the female sliced uh, fruits, and I'm kind of just laying things down nice, trying to lay things down nice and flat on her little natural nails. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying so far. Like I said before, I am trying to do more videos, so bear with me, because I do still work a full-time job, guys, and still am at home just like everybody else working on the computer with my kid for homework and school, so it, it is a lot, but I love my community and I love pumping out these videos, so I'm still trying, okay? <laughs> um... I do want to mention the website is back up and running. I have some new great things that will be coming out soon. So stick with me, my people, my kitties. Check out my website. It is kittyclaws.business. Just go check it out. See if you see anything you like. I will be updating and revamping my website as well. And like I said, adding new product, custom made products. So stay tuned for that. Um, and part three, and the last part, I swear, the last and final part of my nail studio tour, um, I will be uploading that in a few days. I'm just making sure I have all my links together for you guys because I know you want to find certain things, see if it works for you, it looks good on my table, maybe it'll look good for yours. I'm up all about the sharing. So stay tuned for that as well. And guys, let me know in the comments, especially for anyone who's just starting out, newly licensed, about to get licensed, not licensed, you're just a nail enthusiast, any kind of information you want to know, um, please, please, please let me know if you guys want to have a video like that. Um, I feel like I would love to go over some, like I just said before, products you could buy to splurge on, products you're like, mm, you can hold off on that, uh, you don't have to spend so much, you know, things like that. And I also want to try to do a video in regards to um, making sure you are disinfecting and sanitizing your stations um because the fact is yes we have a lot of um nail enthusiasts out there so they're not you you may not be licensed but you do nails and it is what it is i am not a hater i don't um try to act as though you guys are horrible i see so much of that back and forth on facebook it's crazy where people are just bashing uh, others whether you're licensed or not and categorizing people and I'm just here to just share knowledge and love so if you guys want any knowledge on sanitizing disinfecting things like that let me know in the comments and I will make like a real quick video giving you guys literal information that was in my nail uh, study book when I was doing my class for my licenses um, if you're gonna do nails licensed or not it's a video that's necessary and needed, especially now, where you can learn how to properly sanitize, okay? Anyway, back to the video. So guys, look at me encapsulating with gel like a boss. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> it took a while to get the technique down because I'm such, 
you know, in my acrylic mind and, you know, going back in and patting and I had to learn gel, but yes, guys, I'm learning it. I got, I had the little swivel motion, the back and forth motion going. I'm very proud of me. Um, <laughs> cause I love learning and I love when I get a new, well, it's not new, but it's new to me. Cause like I said, I, I prefer acrylics, but the gel, I'm, I don't know. It's about to be a 50, 50 crossover between me and acrylics and me and um gel like yeah so um after i encapsulated uh the female slices and the glitter and everything else i'm going in with my pana nail drill bit and i'm getting around her little cuticle area i'm making sure that's flush and nice and neat and i'm just going over any bulk because i i may have been a little heavy-handed with the gel and I'm using my new favorite top coat. Oh my goodness, my nail friend Michelle got this for me because it was my birthday and you know, well, it was for my birthday. It took 10 years to get the package. That's a whole different story. But I finally got it and let me tell you guys, Ugly Duckling, no white top coat is bomb. I don't know where I've been, but I love this, okay? Love this. Like, as soon as I used it, I was on the website like, mm, maybe I should buy like two or three more, but. <laughs> I'm trying to be more budget friendly, but oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you to my nail sister, because this is everything to me. So yeah, just top coating, finishing off, and I hope you guys enjoy and like this cute little set I did for my daughter, and maybe even give you guys some ideas for your own, uh, you know, any little girls you have at home who want to kind of just look special, make them feel special, and they're, you know, stuck at home with you. This is a great go-to. Thanks, kitties. Thanks for watching and listening to my ramble. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video. Until next time, bye, kitties. Oh, 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 oh,